Guten Tag. Hello, my name is Martin Giebler and I am the owner of the engineering consultancy Bau Expert. We work in the central western region of Germany, advising customers and carrying out measurements and surveys. In the case of this building, we intend to provide advice on energy modernization. To do this, we need to know the heat insulating capacity of the existing walls. Today, we're going to conduct a U-value measurement with the measuring instrument TESTO 635. We've been told that the walls of this building are made of different materials. Thermography has confirmed this. These two walls also have no openings of any kind, no windows, so we can't simply measure the thickness of the wall. However, the owner doesn't want us to drill any holes. We are therefore going to determine the U-value non-intrusively with a measurement. In order to determine the U-value, we need three temperatures, which then come together in this measuring instrument. First of all, the outside temperature, which is recorded and forwarded by this wireless probe. The surface temperature on the interior side of the wall is recorded with this three-wire temperature sensor. The air temperature inside the room is measured with this integrated sensor. Three measurement points allow us to take mixed masonry into account. The three wires of the surface probe are attached to the wall using putty. They should be arranged in a roughly equilateral triangle with edges of about 10 to 15 centimeters. After attaching the sensor and switching on the instrument, we go outside. For a meaningful measurement, it needs to be cold outside and heated inside. There should be about 15 Kelvin temperature difference. This wall is ideal. It faces north, so sunshine can't falsify the measurement. I now connect the measuring instrument to the computer by USB. I then start the software. The instrument is recognized and the measurement begins. The measurement has been running for about an hour. Here we can see the last 20 minutes and you can see the curve of the U value approaching a final value. You can call up the more accurate value from the statistical calculation and the U-value here is around 1.4. The measurement showed that the U-value is even worse than we thought. It doesn't meet today's requirements at all. We are now in a position to be able to suggest suitable insulation measures.